Von Spy Satellite is a name. It's rather frightening, isn't it? Zircon. <laughs> no wonder the Russians are worried. <laughs> I propose, therefore, in the interest of easing international tension, the name should be changed to something more harmless sounding like Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Then Gorbachev could go to the Russian people and say, no sweat, no worry, it's only Keith watching us. <laughs> well, after seeing Terry Wogan's program... ...against fascism, whenever its ugly head was raised. January 1936, he fought tooth and nail with Oswald Mosley over the last Kashmir pullover and the Harrod sale. <laughs> When I consider the millions and millions of molecules and atoms out in space, racing around like some gigantic fairground dodging park, the thought slowly dawns on me how incredibly significant I am. <laughs> in stream for you. <laughs> Hello again. I went back to my hometown of Glasgow the other week, and a man rushed up to me in the street, put his face right up to my face, and said, are you looking at me, Jimmy? <laughs> I backed away. You would have done so too. <laughs> then another man rushed up to me and he said, have you got a meat pie on you, Jimmy? <laughs> I had a quick body search. You never know. <laughs> he was out of luck. It was a Tuesday. <laughs> then I went into a lamppost. <laughs> And you know, it was so dark inside that one post that I decided to walk out again. <laughs> then another man walked up and he said to me, have you got an encyclopedia on you, Jimmy? He explained that he wanted to settle an argument. I asked him, what was the argument? He said, my mate Sandy says, you've got an encyclopedia on you. <laughs> Incidentally, I thought I was very good. <laughs> when I saw a sketch about taking away pizzas, I don't know if you think this is funny, but I thought it to be in very bad taste indeed. It may interest you to know that one of my best friends is a takeaway pizza. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Arnold Brown. P.S. I would still like to be in the show nonetheless. And why not? Someone's got to do it.